Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. This is me Prajesh from Ulamalai Petai today. I am here today with the all new Mahindra XUV 700's entry level MX variant and this specific car over here is one among the first MX variants to be delivered in Tamil Nadu. This car has been delivered by CAI Industries Private Limited, Mahindra dealership in Polachi and I am going to take you through all the features on this car. This video is sponsored by Boodmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they offer only genuine quality components along with the cheapest and more expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Boodmo.com or download the Boodmo app which is available for Android devices and iOS as well. You can search for the required spare part in the proper category from the scrolling menu on the home screen and you can also check out the available offers displayed on the home screen as well. Boodmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Boodmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. First, before getting into the details, let's talk about the exterior design of this MX. This specific car we have over here is a 5-seater diesel MX variant, which has got a longer waiting period compared to the petrol version. Despite being a base level variant, Mahindra have tried to retain the overall design language by providing the exact same grille design and a similar headlamp design to the top end variants. That said, this MX variant gets dual barrel halogen headlamps with no signature LED DRLs and even the indicators are regular halogen bulbs. That said, from a distance, it still looks quite similar to the top spec variants. This MX variant does not provide front fog lamps as standard. However, Mahindra provides the fog lamps as a part of genuine accessories. This specific MX diesel variant has been customized by the owner through Mahindra Genuine Accessories and from the side profile this MX variant looks almost similar to every other variant except for these 17 inch steel wheels which come as standard. This specific MX has been fitted with the 17 inch full wheel covers seen on the AX3 variant. However, all variants of the XUV700 come as standard with all wheel disc brakes. This entry level MX variant also provides glossy black finished ORVMs and flush fitting body colored door handles similar to every other variant of the XUV700. That said, it is clear that despite all variants getting all round body cladding with black colored wheel arches, these lower spec variants don't get any chrome highlights on anywhere. Moving on towards the rear, this MX variant looks almost similar to the higher variants except for a few obvious differences. As a part of the signature design language, the B, C and D pillars are finished in black and this MX variant also offers the signature arrow head design LED tail lamps. However, this variant gets only partial indicators instead of the full length sequential indicators on the higher variants. And yes, this MX variant also does not offer a rear windshield wiper washer or defogger and neither does it offer a reverse parking camera. However, all variants of the Mahindra XUV700 provide four reverse parking sensors as standard and unlike the AX series variants, this MX variant does not provide any variant badging. Moreover, this MX variant also does not provide silver finish skid plates. That said, all variants of the XUV700 provide these long roof rails as standard while this MX variant also provides a stubby roof mounted antenna. So that was all about the exterior details and features of the MX entry-level variant of the XUV700. It is in fact good to see that even this entry-level variant provides proper road presence and appearance, almost similar to the higher spec variants. So now let's get inside the cabin to check out the actual features on the inside. Getting into the driver's seat of the XUV700 MX variant, even this entry-level variant provides a nice welcome detail. Every time you unlock the car, get into the driver's seat and close the door. 
a short movie on the XUV700 is played combining the touch screen and the instrument cluster display yes folks finally i am inside this new mahindra XUV700's mx variant this is the diesel variant however there is obviously uh, going to be no difference when you compare with the petrol and diesel mx so uh, first let me show you the key this is of course the uh, flip key flip remote key of this mx variant which is also seen on the ax5 variant as well so let me just slot this inside and turning on the engine so this is how the display looks like with the instrument cluster and the audio system turned on well first of all yes this is not the adrenox dual screen hd display on this mx variant that is why this variant is known as the mx instead of the ax uh, series so the adrenox series uh, display that is available only on the ax3 ax5 and ax7 variants which are the adrenox series variants but this is the mx variant which is the entry level variant of the xuv700 but still this gets pretty good level of standard features including tire direction indicator as well in this uh, color tft instrument cluster so this is a rather nice looking instrument cluster most of the features and the controls also have been carried forward from the mahindra thar uh, well let me take you through all the details in this for that i would like to show you where are the controls so the controls for this uh, instrument cluster mid are located on the right side of the steering wheel where usually you will find the esp traction control button well uh, taking one look at this console itself you can see that this is almost identical to what we have seen on the mahindra thar including these buttons so yes this is how it works you get uh, almost the same kind of uh, user interface uh, seen on the hd instrument cluster display the digital instrument cluster display on the ax3 variant onwards but yes it is smaller over here to incorporate all the details and functionality there is also a digital speedometer so this is how the digital speedometer display looks like and uh, other things are quite similar to what we have seen on the other variants including vehicle info which means you get power and torque meter there is also vehicle settings well settings regarding this instrument cluster and there is alert history drive info which shows you the average speed average uh, uh, distance and all so that is that and next comes fuel info which shows you obviously the range average mileage and all those things well uh, this car as you can see has clocked 15.2 km per liter which is not bad at all for such a big 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine xuv 7 w so that is really nice apart from that uh, both the tachometer and the speedometer are analog and you can also see the gear indicator lower down along with the uh, tank uh, gauge fuel tank gauge and there is also the engine temperature gauge on the right side lower down on top you can see the time display the menu the display you are in and that is the external temperature as well so this is a rather comprehensive uh, instrument cluster if not a fully digital one and it still provides a lot of details over here next up coming towards this touchscreen system yes this mx variant provides a touchscreen system this is an 8 inch touchscreen system turning on this touchscreen system you can see that the overall user interface the design of the uh, touchscreen system the user interface the layout everything is identical to what we have seen on the dual screen hd display plays seen on the ax3 variant onwards however this is a smaller display and there is a limitation of the features you get that said you still get android auto and apple carplay along with ecosense which basically judges your driving habits maybe yours or even your drivers uh, regarding engine idling speed acceleration gear changing and all those things so this is rather nice uh, in terms of audio quality this is pretty good as it provides four speakers as standard then coming lower down you get to see this uh, manual aircon console which is quite identical to what we have seen on the ax5 variant which we have already seen and uh, you get the fan speed controller on the right side the temperature controller on the left side with multiple directional settings over here and there is ac there is also an economy mode for the ac and obviously this is the internal or external recirculation button on the ax5 variant though you may have seen a rear separate button over here which basically turns on the compressor for the rear AC, but this car being only a five seater model it does not have that option which is completely understandable just below that you also get this similar array of buttons and indicators over here these three tabs over here are for indication one for the airbag one for the child seat and one for the seat belt whereas this is the hazard button and this is the home button for the touchscreen system and this one over here is for the screen saver 
for the touchscreen system well that was all about the center console lower down over here you get this uh, filth lined rubberized padding for your smartphone and this is the standard six speed manual gearbox lever which is quite familiar both on the petrol and diesel variants even the top spec variants get this similar kind of lever only with the leather wrapping and this here is the manual handbrake there are a couple cup holders and storage pockets over here in the center console just like the as5 variant this variant also gets a hard plastic center console armrest uh, if you want to leather wrap this you can do it aftermarket that's because uh, there is a decent level of storage space underneath this with this separate uh, rubberized pocket for your key and there is also rubberized filth lining on the inside of this storage box so that was good and coming to other storage options you get this rather large glove box as standard with a separate rubberized tray on top for your books tablets or laptops or whatever and the door pockets are also large enough to house more than one liter of your water bottle and there's also a separate umbrella holder extending all the way inside the door so coming to other features on the driver side yes i already explained the instrument cluster but coming to the steering wheel yes this is the same design we have seen on the ax5 variant in fact this looks almost identical to the ax5 variant because even the ax5 did not have leather wrapping and it also did not have cruise control functions uh, as expected only the ax7 l variant gets telescopic adjustment whereas all variants get tilt adjustable steering wheel as standard and this car also gets steering mounted audio controls including bluetooth telephony and all those things on the left side spoke another interesting detail on this mx variant is that this car obviously does not offer front fog lamps however mahindra have provided the uh, headlamp stock quite similar to the top spec variant including a button a separate control for the front fog lamps which can be fitted as an accessory from the mahindra parts bin itself so if you opt for the fog lamps from mahindra parts bin you can connect the fog lamps to this switch itself which uh, will give you genuine factory fit like design and usability so that is quite nice however on the wiper stock you can see that this one over here is just a dummy and it is quite understandable well coming towards the right side of the steering wheel again apart from the controls for the instrument cluster there is also the engine auto start stop function button over here which you can turn on or off depending on your usage and the need so that was all about that now coming towards the driver door obviously this car is a premium suv's base level variant so it also gets all four power windows however there is no one touch down function for the driver window which is quite expected because this is an entry level variant that said you still get electronically adjustable orvms as standard which is going to be greatly convenient for such a large car and you also get central locking button over here along with the central locking for the windows over here then apart from that all variants of the mahindra xuv 700 also provide height adjustable driver seat as standard which is going to be again very very convenient for such a tall and humongous suv then coming towards the roof uh, you get to see the day night adjustable ir vm which is standard all the way up to the ax7 l variant and the sun visors are of uh, similar expected quality with only the passenger side getting a vanity mirror so this mirror as you can see it is quite high in terms of quality and is also pretty large so that was good and this is the centrally mounted cabin lamp for the front passengers and there is a separate cabin lamp for the rear seat passengers as well So that was all about the features. Well, uh, before getting into the back seat, I would like to show you the seats of this MX variant. You can see that the seats are almost identical to what we have seen on the AX5 variant itself because these uh, are pretty high quality fabric seats with good amount of bolstering. Overall comfort is great and they also feel pretty airy despite having black in terms of color. So yeah these are greatly comfortable at least the front seats so that was all about the features in the front in terms of comfort and convenience let's now get into the back yes folks this is how the dashboard of the entry level mx variant of the xuv 700 looks like from the rear seat to be frank this is really impressive because uh, despite being an entry level variant it provides you with a lot of standard features including a touchscreen system color tft instrument cluster steering mounted audio controls and a lot more well coming uh, to the rear seats in terms of comfort well you can see the space over here obviously the rear seats cannot be adjusted for recline or sliding because there is no reclining lever either for the second row seats uh, especially because this is a five seater variant alone and uh, despite that they have uh, 
set this second row seat for maximum space and comfort you can see the humongous level of leg space over here i can literally sit here easily cross-legged which to be honest is not very respectful uh well coming to the features yes uh, from this mx variant itself the xuv 7 w gets separate individual ac vents for the rear seats for the second row seats because there is no third row and it is also impressive to see that even on this entry level variant you still get a smartphone storage pocket along with a c type usb charging port this is not seen on any other entry level variant of any other car to be frank and the xuv 7 w still provides this which is seriously commendable job by mahindra now talking about this uh, second row seat uh, over here you can see that this is not 60 40 split and if you want to fold the second row seat flat you can do that only by pulling a tag on the back side of the seat back uh, however this mx variant itself gets adjustable headrests for two passengers on either side with the center passenger getting a fixed small headrest as standard no center armrest though which is completely acceptable however you still get iso fixed child seat mounts as standard from this MX variant itself. Now, just like the AX5 variant, the door design, the aluminium finish, and everything remains exactly the same even on this MX variant. And that is the same case on the front as well. Uh, quite similar to the AX5 variant, which we have already seen uh, the door padding design the four aluminium finish which runs across the width of the dashboard and almost everything has been carried forward except for leather padding or fabric padding there is nothing on the center armrest and on the doors which is quite expected just like the ax5 uh, well coming to the back seat again the legroom is impressive the comfort the under thigh support is superb however my only minor grouse is that the seat back angle is slightly a bit more reclined than i would have liked at least they could have provided an option to adjust the recline angle but this is the only angle that is provided as standard on the back seat of the mx variant of the xuv 7 w i also think that all the five seater variants which are available till the ax5 get the same recline angle without any option of adjusting the recline angle and yes as i already said there is a separate cabin lamp separate led cabin lamp to be precise for the second row passengers so that was all about the features and comfort over here let's now take a look at the boot space this mx variant is available only as a five seater on the xuv 7 w and as a result, once you open the boot, you get to see more than 500 litres of luggage space due to the absence of a third row seats. This boot area is rather well-shaped, easy and convenient to use. However, the side panels in the boot area have not been changed in terms of design and still provide the bottle holders along with an armrest. And there is also provision for fitting a subwoofer in the boot area. As I said before, this is a 5-seater variant, so it does not have the third row AC vents. And clearly, those panels have been blanked out. However, this boot area itself provides the standard 12-volt charging socket for your accessories and maybe a vacuum cleaner as well. A load cover is available only as a part of Mahindra Genuine Accessories. As usual, under the boot floor, you get to see the whole lot of tools and jack and all the things for emergency usage, including a first aid kit. The jack to lower the spare tire under the body is right under this floor. Another highlight of the 5-seater versions of the XUV 7 w is the availability of this underfloor storage which can be easily accessed once you remove the boot floor completely. This can be really convenient for your smaller items. Now talking about the spare wheel which is located right under the body. While this car gets 17-inch wheels as standard, the spare wheel still is a 155 section 18-inch tyre. So this spare wheel can be used only for temporary purpose. Furthermore, if you want to increase the load capacity of your XUV 7 w the 5-seater variants get this tag on the seat back of the second row seats, which can be easily pulled to fold flat the second row seats. That said, there is still a bit of step even if you fold the second row seats flat and you don't really get a completely flat loading bay. That said, you still can move your house or furniture using your MX XUV 7 w So now let's close this boot and open the engine bay. While all variants of the XUV 7 w petrol get the same 200 PS petrol engine, under the bonnet of this diesel MX variant, you still find the same 2.2 liter MHOC 4 cylinder turbo diesel engine with a lower state of tune. This engine produces 184 PS of maximum power and 450 Newton meters of maximum torque on the higher variants, whereas in this MX variant, it produces 154 PS of maximum power and 360 Newton meters of maximum torque through only a six speed manual gearbox. 
So this is the exact same power and torque figure seen on the previous Mahindra XUV 500. That said, the overall refinement and power delivery is smoother than before. However, Mahindra could still have provided the hydraulic jack mounts for this rather heavy large bonnet. So now let's talk about the package and value of this MX variant. So that was a detailed walk-around review of the brand new Mahindra XUV 700's entry-level MX diesel variant. According to me, this base-level MX is great value as it provides a lot of standard features and unexpected equipment at this price point along with great engine options. At this price point, apart from the engine, this provides an 8-inch touchscreen system with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, steering motor audio controls, driver seat height adjust, a color TFT instrument cluster, electronic air conditioning, remote central locking, power windows and power mirrors along with 17-inch wheels. So when compared to the entry-level variants of other rival SUVs such as the Tata Harrier, this MX variant is hugely well equipped. That said, while this car gets dual airbags with ABS and all-wheel disc brakes as standard, it still does not get ESP, hill hold or traction control. However, when combined with the 5-star safety rating, the greatly comfortable and spacious cabin and the whole lot of standard features, this XUV700 MX variant is incredible value for money. Meanwhile, this is Piprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.